let's create an endpoint for resetting users password by default laravel comes with some controllers that help us doing that we will utilize this forgot password controller and reset password controller so this will be responsible for sending email and this for actually resetting the password so i will copy these two so right click refactor copy so i'll copy them inside api folder so i copied them from here to api and forgot password controller so we'll change the namespace to api same for reset controller okay so after copying them we will get rid of this and same for reset uh, we don't need this redirection because we'll be so this will be the api endpoint so let's handle the forget password uh, first okay so let's close everything else okay so yeah in this controller we see this uh, trade is used so if you go here we will see this send reset link email so we'll utilize this default method so since this is yeah, yeah this controller is using that red this method that method is already available in that controller so let's go to the api.php and i'll create a new route all right so this endpoint password email will send an email so this will be the post route and that will hit to this method okay and similarly we'll create another endpoint password reset so this will be inside uh, this will be using reset password controller and inside reset password controller we'll see this reset password straight and if you go to this straight we'll see this reset method so we'll be using this method reset one more thing here if you go to that method reset link email so if you want to override this you can just copy this uh, method from here and copy it into reset password controller same thing and you can modify it here although this is not needed in this case so here in this method we will see uh, this is doing some stuff like uh, generating token that will be essential so security wise this is very robust so we don't need to do anything there so in response part we need to change a bit because uh, our api should return a json response uh, instead of all blade files and all those so we'll override these two methods used in this straight send reset response when successful response and send failed response if something went wrong wrong while sending email or something like that we'll deal that in a moment so i'll override those two methods here so so these two methods send reset response and similarly i will override another one send reset failed response so i'm using php storm so it makes uh, it easy just control o and it will override those methods so these are uh, those are same thing like doing copying from these two method copy if you are not using that just copy these methods send response from here or create new method here manually same thing just saving some time here we'll return a message so we can uh, return a message like anything custom message like successfully uh, sent email or whatever so that is one option or you can use this response so this response already contains the necessary response that need to be sent to user for now this response and for error response we will do like this error and we'll send some support to to status status code that will be telling that this is unprocessable entity so we just did for reset password controller and we can do the same thing for forgot password controller so just see which method there you want to override so if you go to this send reset link email it will send reset link response 
so alternatively you can just copy these two into the controller that is using this straight all right and we'll get it off so we don't want back response same thing so i will copy so response will be almost same we can copy from reset password into forgot password all right so if if that response is successful this method got triggered if it is failed this method got triggered okay after we have customized the response let's uh, move on to real part let's go to api.php and let's trigger this route so this route will trigger the email and we'll proceed further so let's uh, jump into postman and we will just send request to that endpoint so this is our url password email this one and this endpoint uh, we should send email of user for which we want to reset password so here if you see this send reset link email method you will see that request it expects this email that's why we need to use that email so let's go to uh, let's go from uh, scratch let's create new user let's call it dev forgot so password will be this secret let's create new user there we go we created new user and suppose after some time this user forgot this password his password let's uh, then let's change so we need to supply the email password email and we will send so actually in front end we will have we have this form where we send email all right so currently we are sending with postman so if we hit uh, send we should get error yeah so route this is not defined because it is using uh, the default methods that's why it is saying this route not defined because it is using the de default email template so let's use a custom email template for sending reset email so the way we do it is in documentation we have uh, that stated like in resetting password section if you go to customization here you can get all of this stuff so here reset email customization so in order to reset email what we need to do is we need to put this method or override this method on our user model so I'll just copy that and let's go to user and we can override that method or just paste it same thing so it automatically injects the token that is generated by that method here this method so this method will generate uh, the token and then pass it to this method in user model so if you are wondering uh, from where this is getting injected so here we have so if you go to authenticable class here you see uh, these uh, and actually authenticable is this class and you will see this can reset password trait and inside can reset password here we have this send password reset notification so basically we are just overwriting that method here so that we can use custom notification so notification is the same we can use any method we want so we can create new uh, notification and then use it here all right so let's first uh, create new notification class so php artisan make a notification password reset notification let's call that okay that notification class is created app notification password reset notification so now we can use that so this notify and use this cl uh, class password reset notification and we'll pass in the token so this is the token that uh, 
that is required to reset the password otherwise without this token password cannot be reset let's go to this class just create a notification and here since we are passing token we need to accept that and i will initialize fields so initialize field just putting it here and here so let's make it public class so that everyone can use it i mean email template or so this needs to be public here mail so here is new mail so here we can uh, edit this and here is your reset mail so instead of uh, creating this from scratch what we will do is let's go to user class so let's again go to this authenticable class and we will go to can reset password and here so this is the default laravel notification that is uh, sent normally but we want to override that so we will go to this class and here we see that exact notification class but the problem is this notification class uses these route which is not defined in our case so what we will do is i will just copy this and go to our notification class and i will replace that with these custom messages so nothing much just using this language class so that it can be translated if we are using any other language so subject will be this uh, let me change this subject hey reset password notification let's change this custom you request it and here reset password so action will be so this will be the link actually you know what we'll create a custom link here so url to reset form and this will be any url if you make any a new application in views so view app password form if you make this route in your front end application and then you pass in token token equals to this token this token all right so url to reset form and you will just append that here so this will be the any application you can replace it later for now let's keep it so everything else will be same yeah just for testing purpose for now i will just uh, display the token here so that we can copy it from here and we can so we can put it in postman and then send request okay so that's it for a notification class so our notification class is ready so for sending email for testing purpose we'll use mail trap so let's configure that first so if you make account on mail trap you'll get to this space and just go to demo inbox and just copy these password and username so i will copy username and go to your dot env file and in this file you already got these keys by default just replace username with username and password with password from here and you are good to go everything else is already configured you don't need to do anything all right so once that is done we are ready to send a request send a mail so let's go to this route password email and let's send the email so after we click on forget password in our front end application let's suppose for now and it will show us form in that form we are required to put the email our email for which we want to reset password and now let's send so it is working it is sending email that's why yeah password sent so we got this message password sent and we should get email yeah hey reset password notification and this email is yeah you requested here we go and everything like we done so if you click on this app 
it will take us to your application and you will show form so that part we will handle later uh, in when we build front end application so for now we our api is functional and we got this token so uh, let's save it for now let's copy it and so let's go to our api.php so this sending email part is done and now we got token that we can use to reset password and now let's go to this controller uh, reset password reset and here in reset password so in this uh, route we need these we need to satisfy these rules this validation rule so these rules says we require token email and password so we need to pass these three fields so let's move on to postman and let's send request to that endpoint so api password reset so email will be so let's first put in token so this is just i put while testing so this is the token which we get from email and and this dev at forgot.com so dev forgot all right so new pass is our new password so in order to test uh, let's uh, first let's make any invalid email so for now let's invalid and it should show us error message with saying the given data invalid the password must be yeah password must be eight new secret let's put it same new secret new secret let's send again yeah error password user so remember you uh, you are seeing this dot um, this kind of error message because let me show you one cool thing so that is coming from reset password control and here we are sending response so this response is just this key so actually this is the key uh, that is responding the translation actually if we go to resources uh, language language en so if you go to this folder you'll see uh, passwords yeah passwords.php and in passwords.php you'll see all those keys so password dot password will refer to this text and similarly reset will this text so passwords dot user means these text this text we can't find user with that email address so in order to show these um, messages what we can use is just wrap this inside trans so this and that is the default uh, helper that laravel provides okay trans and then wrap this inside so if you dig into trans it will just instantiate this translator and do that so let's go back so now this time you should see real message send yeah we can't find user with that email address because this is not a correct email address similarly if we make any other error it will show accordingly so sending and yeah your password has been reset okay so now let's try to log in okay so this is the so this let's try to log in with our old password we should get invalid credentials now let's log in with new password and it should reset yeah it is working all right so this is how we reset our password so if you have any questions just comment down below i will be there for help and i will see you in the next video